Today is Saturday, so I guess I'm starting the vlog today. But this is what the third day of spring looks like, right? It's the third day. First day was Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Third day of spring in Massachusetts. It's freezing outside and it snowed. It's not snowing anymore, but we got like a dusting. So that's what today looks like. Like, this is fine when I'm filming regular videos with my regular camera, but, like, the view on my phone is so wide that you can see the stupid backdrop and it just looks terrible. Anyway, I'm gonna throw some makeup on because this is the first day in, like, a month that I've felt like actually putting some makeup on. Um... I usually, it's only like 7.30 right now, I usually get up early on Saturdays because um, Aiden has his ABA therapist, but she texted me and said she can't come today. She's been having problems with her car. Hi, buddy. What do you need? You can do it. <laughs> We're going to fix it. I'm just throwing some makeup on, but I'll be up in a minute. I'm going to use the Sweet Talk palette today, I think, from ColourPop. I used it yesterday, and I really liked it. Still don't know what's up with this mushy, mushy shade. I can't really use that one, but all the other ones are good. Um, I may have to turn sideways here because it is not the lighting situation. It's not that great. I usually have sun coming through the window, but it's friggin... You're not having candy right now. It's snowy and overcast today, so I have no sun. Buddy, you need to have breakfast. You can have some blueberries. Yeah? I'll wait until I get this on and I'm almost done. I'm just throwing on some eye makeup. I have a feeling we're going to have to go to the store and get more blueberries. Because you're eating them like a beast. I would rather him eat blueberries than junk stuff, so I'm not complaining. Put it in. <laughs> Go upstairs and I'll get you some blueberries, okay? That's a very, like... Uh, big thing for him when we went grocery shopping he asked for blueberries which is something he doesn't ever eat and I was like you bet are you gonna eat them and he's like he kept telling me yes so I got the small container of them because I didn't want to have to throw out a whole thing of blueberries and then when we got home he didn't want to eat them at first but then I tried to do what they do at school, or what they like explained, how they explain that they do it, and they try to get him to take three bites at least. So he's like, just try it and take a little bite of it. And then he finally did, and you could tell on his face, he was like, hey, this is pretty good. So I'm hoping I can get him to do that with a lot more stuff now, because he's more open to it than he used to be. He used to literally like gag and scream and everything when you try to get him to eat something new and a lot of um, autistic kids are like that when you try to get them to eat new foods but there's so many like techniques and stuff that we've learned to like try and introduce new stuff it's just like I was totally blind to all this when they totally like finally diagnosed him with autism <laughs> I'm like oh God, what are we going to do? And, like, just all the things between school and 
his ABA therapy and everything have taught us like a bajillion things that I am grateful for. And he's just like improving so much. It's crazy. We have to go to his, um, well, I have to go Monday night now to his parent teacher conference because I had to tell her the other night we couldn't come because we were both sick and he didn't go to school that day. So, I mean, it would have looked weird if he didn't go to school and then I took him in there at night. My lips are so chapped. So she said, uh, I guess Monday night and next Thursday night they're doing parent te teacher conferences too. So Monday night at 6 o'clock. This is messy, but I don't care. Um, and then Wednesday morning is his uh, annual meeting. Well, we, biannual, I guess it is, because we have that meeting twice a year with like the whole team. And I, I think his ABA therapist is coming with us. I told told them that she might be there just in case. Because you have to, if you invite anybody outside, you have to let them know. You have to let the school know. But now I'm not going to see her today to ask her. So I'm going to have to, I should have texted her back when, I did text her back when she said she wasn't coming. But I didn't ask her about that. I'll ask her like Tuesday if she's planning on coming Wednesday morning. Stephen has Tuesday and Wednesday off, which is good because he can come to the meeting. The last one, I had to end up doing it over the phone because that was the day the battery in the white car died and I couldn't get there. Like I could have, <clears throat> I could have, I could basically walk to school, walk him to school with the, the distance that we live from the school, but like, I went out to the car, the battery was dead, um, and I only had, like, six, seven minutes to get to school, and I would never have made it. It, it would take me, like, 20-something minutes to walk there, at least, so, um, they did it over the phone last time, but this time, you didn't have to do that, well, or we shouldn't have to do that, um, which is kind of weird that I have to go Monday night anyway to a parent-teacher conference when I'm going to see his teacher on Wednesday. But Wednesday is more of like an everybody thing, so we don't just get to sit one-on-one -on -one with his teacher. It's his teacher and his occupational therapist and like the school psychologist and everybody that works with him in school, basically. So I do feel better today, but I still, well, I'm still i still trying to drain my head and get out all this snot. It's so annoying. Every morning I wake up and I'm all stuffed up and it's like, ugh. <sighs> I th I'm, I'm hoping that this antibiotic is going to get it all out of me because I only have a few days left to take it. And it seems like it is because it was all impacted before. And I could feel it up there, but it, nothing was coming out. And now it's all coming out, so... Fingers crossed, because I don't want to have to go back to the doctor again and get a different one. But, um, I'm going to go now. I'm going to work some more on the bedroom today, upstairs. Am I all blurry again? Um, I will show you what progress I've made, I guess, once I get at it. But, that's pretty much it for now. I'll talk to you guys in the next, uh... In the next clip I was gonna say in the next video so I know I haven't updated you guys on formulate um, since I first started trying it they sent me a new formulation because it was just very it was making my hair very heavy and greasy like my hair never adjusted to it <laughs> and it was just like I wasn't washing my hair every day I was doing every three days like I normally do but I felt like I needed to wash my hair every day because it was so heavy. So we'll see how this one goes. Um, I haven't looked at the paper yet to see what changed. But like all I told the person I was in contact with was that it was making my hair very um, heavy and greasy. So this is the paper that I just got. I'm trying to 
Still got this, the men's split ends, color protection, thermal protection, anti-frizz, and curl definition, which is, I think, what I put on the other one. Let's see. I have the other one right here, actually. I wanted to make sure I didn't get rid of it because I wanted to compare. Yeah, see, that, those are all the same things. So, I'm not sure what they changed in here. It still says... Five pumps, five pumps, five pumps, five pumps. Still the same scent, which was at dawn. Okay, so here, I guess I gotta go by this. They used, instead of pumpkin seed oil, which was on the old one, whatever that is, polyquaternium 37. And then, instead of broccoli seed oil, argon oil and instead of lactic acid hemp seed oil so I guess maybe those were the things that were making my hair very greasy I don't know we'll find out because I need to wash my hair tonight anyway so I will uh, update you on that but I'm gonna write on this one old and then new so that, <laughs> so that I don't mess them up Hey you, can you calm down? <laughs> He's full of it today. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated on this and if this does any better for my hair. So I have gotten so much done so far today that I figured I would come back on and show you guys. I'm trying to get, there's like grip tape on the floor near the bed that used to like help her not slip on this friggin wood floor I'm trying to take it off and it's like ridiculously stuck but luckily it's not taking off it's not like screwing up the wood floor which I was kind of worried about but <sighs> so I got I put all the lamps and stuff that were in here in the attic because I don't want to just throw lamps away um <sighs> Jesus, this one, I got, there were four pieces, I got three pieces off, and this last one does not want to come off, it's just ripping off in little bits. <sighs> um, so I put a bunch of that stuff in the attic. I got the trash out of here because I ended up putting it on the deck for now, which is like so white trash to have a whole bunch of garbage bags outside your house, but it's in the back of the house, it's not like it's in our front yard. And I'll just get rid of as many as I can every week. I think there's there's seven or eight of them out there. And my trash like barrel outside is full. So can't put any more this week. I might put a few on the ground. Because usually when on trash day, if you have extra trash and just put it on the ground next to the trash, maybe I'll take it. There we go. Got that one off. <sighs> I have rubber gloves on because everything I've been touching is so dusty and stuff and I don't want to keep washing my hands because they're so dry and cracked already so I'm wearing gloves <laughs> but right now I'm cleaning off the uh, the bedside table one of two bedside tables that is made of that same super heavy wood that the the bureaus are that I showed you I didn't think that one was, but that's the, it matches the set. I didn't realize that that was the same thing. So all of this is like that super heavy uh, furniture that came from... Oops. <laughs> I forgot that the phone was being propped up by the, the spray bottle. The super heavy European furniture. I can't remember where Steven told me that it came from, but I'm pretty sure it was Germany. Something's falling. Um, and there's like friggin' water stains and everything on here from her putting cups and stuff, so like it's not in great condition, but I'm trying to clean it as much as I can. And I don't know if this could go one of two ways. Steven's dad is gonna either really appreciate that I did all this because he doesn't really want to do it, or he's gonna get pissed that I moved everything. In which case, he's had like almost six months now to do something, and every time he comes here, he doesn't touch anything. So, 
I kind of just want to get this done with, which is why I'm finally doing it. I should have this room done probably by tomorrow, or probably by the end of tomorrow, because all I have now is this thing I'm working on now. There's a little thing in the corner, the small bureau, and the closet. This is why I'm going this way, because I'm doing the closet last. Ugh, but there's so much junk. The only thing I don't, I'm not confident that I know what to do oh, with yet is the TVs. Tickets. You playing games? You play a game with 15 tickets? You got 15 tickets? <laughs> He's playing ABC Mouse again. <laughs> um, so yeah, the only thing I have an issue with getting rid of is the TVs, because you can't put those in the trash without, like, I think you can call and get a separate pickup for them or something. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check with the uh, our trash company. But those are the only two things. Like I said, one of them doesn't work at all. One of them turns on, but the picture's really dark. Like, someone who knows what they're doing can fix it. But my uncle doesn't want it. He doesn't want to mess with any more TVs or anything right now because I think he has, like, three at home that he fixed. Um, um, I forgot there's two drawers in here that need to be cleaned out. I did want to recommend, really quickly, this Mr. Clean Clean Freak. I think it's new because I've never seen this stuff before. It's got Gain scent in it, so it smells really good, and this cleans anything. Like, I had a stain on the kitchen floor that has been there since we moved in here, and this took it off, like, right away. So, it's really cool because, well, you can use it in the kitchen, bathroom, uh, pretty much anything. You can use it to clean the toilet, you can use it to clean the stove, the refrigerator. Um, it's cool because the trigger part comes off and then you can just buy the refills which I already bought another one of these and the spray is really cool too because it's one of those ones that's like I don't know how you look I'll just spray it so you can see it's like an extended release thing so I really like it um, smells really good it cleans really well if you are looking for a new cleaning spray I get excited over cleaning sprays all the time <laughs> It's part of being an adult now, I guess, but, um, Steven's calling me now, so I'll end this, and I'll talk to you guys later. <sighs> I, Steven is, like, finally convinced that it's something to do with the house, too, because he woke up all stuffed up again this morning. So, we're gonna look into, like, cleaning the, the ducts and everything, like, the heating ducts. I couldn't even tell you if that's ever been done, and that's something that should be done. <laughs> I hate the whole central air thing in a house. Like, my entire life I grew up in a house that just had gas, heat, and radiators in every room. So, like, we never had to worry about vents and stuff like that. But I think that there's just something that's triggering something in my sinuses. Like, some kind of allergy, because... If this was a sinus infection, it would have been gone by now. <clears throat> I have one more day of antibiotics, and there's no difference in how I felt when I first started taking them. <clears throat> it's not even that I feel sick. It's just I'm all congested, and, like, this is so annoying. People who have year-round allergies and stuff, I don't know how you guys deal with it, because, like, I'm going crazy. <clears throat> I'm actually going to go get Flonase because the regular like Vicks nose spray and stuff works to clear my nose, but it doesn't help with the itchiness and everything. The fact that it's so itchy is what's making me think that it's an allergy to something because I don't usually get that itchiness when I have a sinus infection. Um, and Flonase is the only thing that helped before when I was like having a massive pollen allergy attack that kind of like just stopped it. So the one that I had in the medicine cabinet expired so I'm gonna go get a new one and see if that helps any. Which like I don't feel like buying a almost $20 nose spray but if it helps then it helps. <laughs> it's worth it. I'm in the school parking lot now waiting for all the traffic to die down. 
because I don't feel like waiting in that line of traffic. I washed my hair again with the Formulate, the new shampoo and conditioner that they sent me. And the second I used it, it felt a lot lighter than the other one. Like, when I was using it, <clears throat> using the first one, I could feel in the shower how heavy it was going to make my hair feel. My hair just felt like really weighed down and greasy. And I think this time it's going to be better. Which is exciting because I really like the smell of it. It's very like floral and because I put that I wanted the strongest scent possible, it's very like... <clears throat> I think I mentioned it before that it's like a time release type thing because I keep catching whiffs of it. Whether I'm just sitting there or laying there or whatever. So I'm going to get Aiden from school right now. I got the Flonase and it seems to have helped a little bit. Like it's helped all the itchiness and stuff in my sinuses that's been going on. So that just further makes me think that it's some kind of allergic reaction that I'm having. Like an allergy attack of some sort. Because I haven't been like sneezing and blowing my nose since I used that. Um, you're only supposed to use it once a day, so <laughs> I can't be spraying my nose constantly with it, but you can probably hear that I sound stuffed up. Um, so we'll see how this works, and then it's going to be just cleaning the hell out of the house. <sighs> I was, I think I mentioned I was looking up how to clean your ducts and everything. Um, it's basically unscrewing all the like intake and exhaust things on the walls and the floors and vacuuming them out and then you're basically supposed to put like a leaf blower at one end of the house and then a shop vac at the other end so that the leaf blower is blowing it all one way and the vacuum is sucking it all up so I guess we're gonna try that and maybe that will help but I can guarantee you that's probably never been cleaned and that's probably why we keep getting colds and stuff. Hey guys, today is Wednesday already. This week has flown. Finally feeling better. I think that flown ease is the like the the one thing that helped me through with this uh whatever's going on with my nose. So I've been taking that not taking it but spraying it up my nose each day um this morning Stephen's home today he took today off because um we had Aiden's the meeting at his school his IEP meeting for like his progress and what they're gonna do with him continuing into next year and everything so that went really well his I had to go by myself the other night to his parent-teacher conference because like I said I had asked to reschedule it because we were supposed to go last Thursday when Aiden and I both got sick and went to the the doctor that day um, and that went really well she said he's doing very good um, like going to the other class and stuff the the neurotypical uh, kindergarten class he's doing really well with them he loves math he loves art obviously we know that <laughs> um, and she randomly asked me if I listened to Green Day and I was like yeah <laughs> why <laughs> because Aiden has been writing the names of Green Day songs in his journal at school and I just thought that was hysterical I'm like yep uh, he likes to play with the radio in the car in the morning and he, he happens to memorize things very easily so that's where that comes from but yeah he's doing really well with pretty much everything so that all went good and smoothly um i finished cleaning out steven's grandma's room and honestly i don't what the hell did he do to this? Anytime Steven drives the Jeep, I tell you, everything gets messed up. Um, I don't know how... I'm probably not going to update anymore because I don't think we're going to end up moving our bedroom into there. We were going to do it yesterday. All we did was argue. <laughs> what sucks is that 
those two dressers she has, like, I don't really have a use for those, and the way I want to set that room up, like, it's not going to work unless we get those out of there, and we just don't have the room to, like, pull them out and move them and everything, and, like, he wanted to make that so that it was my, my office slash our bedroom, and that's just not going to work out because not everything is going to fit in there and like he's insisting on having one of those rooms be a spare bedroom for when his dad comes which I get because like when his dad comes even though he's only ever here for a few hours and then he just sleeps here and leaves in the morning he gets up super duper early he goes to bed super duper early so if he was like downstairs in the other room with Steven playing video games and stuff, that ain't gonna, that's just not gonna work out. So, I don't know. It's just aggravating. Like we have a, a spare bedroom that we can't utilize or anything because it's not our house and we can't do what we want with it. But uh, yeah, I'm just, I don't, I honestly don't feel like moving everything. So, <laughs> because we don't know what's going on with this house, I don't want to bother moving three rooms around because I'd have to move my office around, our bedroom, and the basement room. And it's just like, ugh. I don't know. I'm tired of friggin' moving stuff already this week because I cleaned out so much in that room. But I mean, it's clean now, so everything's clean. I put all the the bags of clothes to donate. I put them in her closet because the closet was cleaned out. I finished that. Um, so everything's just back in that room. And now it's a clean bedroom that nobody can use because... <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm just sick of arguing about it. So I'm going to leave it be and just friggin' hope something comes up soon to let us know what's going on with this house because it's friggin I know all I did was complain about like our situation before and it's much better now because we don't have to take care of his grandma anymore and everything I get that I don't want to seem ungrateful that obviously we have a house to live be we have a place to stay in because of her but like now my aggravation is setting in that I'm paying all these bills for everything for this house and we can't do anything that we want with it like the house needs to be painted we can't paint it the color we want it because friggin his dad has to choose the color and everything and we don't even know if his dad wants to sell the house because we don't know what's going on nobody ever tells us anything and I don't think he even knows what's going on now because of everything that happened with her crossing out stuff in the will so it's just a big uh up in the air thing so just to to round this off I'm not gonna do anything with that room right now because we don't know what's going on um, I'm not gonna bother making that our bedroom and then have his dad flip out that we put everything in there and ugh. it's just it probably sounds so stupid especially to people who haven't been following me for a while and know the whole situation but that's just what's going on. It's basically like we're renting a house, but we have a room in it that we can't access. <laughs> like we can't do anything with it because we're not allowed to. Hi guys, today is Thursday. I've been using that Formulate shampoo and it's not weighing my hair down like it was before, so. Actually, my hair feels like a little bit dry, but I will give it some time again to see if my hair adjusts to it. 22 is very loud. 22 is very loud. Yeah. The only thing is my dandruff is coming back and I was using like the Dove dandruff shampoo. It was really helping. So Do I don't think this is good for dandruff, but as far as like the curling stuff, it's got so much stuff in it that you can't really use your normal styling products with it because if you do then it's just way too much. It's like very weighty and feels like there's a bunch of junk in your hair. So like just the shampoo and conditioner and then when I dry it I use a little bit of hairspray and that's enough because usually I'll use gel, I'll use mousse, anything to like keep my curls 
curly because that the whole curly girl method does not work for me like I can't I don't have the patience for that to just use conditioner and everything and uh, it's just it's a pain in the butt I've tried it I just can't keep up with it so um, we're on our way to school now today's gonna be busy Thursday is always like a super busy day Steven works Thursdays at this job are his long day so like he went in for nine o'clock and he's gonna stay there till 7 30 tonight <clears throat> so it's always like I don't feel like making dinner because I don't want to eat that late so I have just have something before he comes home um, and then I'm supposed to meet my friend after I drop Aiden at school I have to go to my grandma's house and drop off some quilts that I had found in his grandma's room that my uncle wants to use for the dogs because they have like a little bed and it's fallen apart and they need a quilt on top of it. Um, and then after I pick Aiden up from school he has his ABA therapy until like 6.30 so it's a busy day on Thursdays but then tomorrow's Friday thankfully so that's what we got going on today. You want to say bye everybody? Bye everybody. I go to school. I will check in with you guys later or tomorrow. It is Friday. I just dropped Aiden off at school. Um, I was a little bit late getting him there today, so I didn't have time to record before. He was still in the car with me. But um, I'm going to end the vlog today because it's not really. <laughs> there's nothing going on this week. Last week I had like an hour of footage I had to edit down, and it was still like a 40 minute vlog. Um, because I had all the stuff from me and my brother going to the mall, uh, what else did we do? I don't even remember, but I had a bunch of stuff recorded from last week, um, but not much this week, so sorry, this one was boring. <laughs> it's because I spent the beginning of the week cleaning, cleaning out that room that we're now not really doing anything with, so maybe in the future we'll figure it out, but for now... It's just gonna stay the way it is. I'm sick of messing with it. I'm sick of moving stuff. Don't want to have to have my office crammed into a room with my bed because the office is small enough as it is, and the business is growing, and I keep adding more things and more ingredients, which means more packaging and more ingredients that I have to store, and I'm just gonna have no room for anything. So everything's gonna stay the way it is right now. <clears throat> um, Aiden had his ABA therapy last night, and I gave her his, um, his progress report, because they just got their progress reports too, and she was very impressed, um, and that something she said that makes me even more worried about if we have to move to a different school district and stuff is like, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but his ABA therapist, like, what they do, their job is they go all over the state, pretty much, to, like, go into people's homes and work with the kids. So she's worked with, like, a lot of different school districts, and as she was going through his thing, she said that it's very rare that they have, um, that schools will have a... basically phys ed adaptive physical education that's what it's called <laughs> I knew it would come to me it's gym but like for kids with disabilities and like learning disabilities and everything um, to like get their skills up and stuff and she said that not many schools do that and he has it a couple times a week um, like that she was adaptive phys ed teacher was at the at our meeting the other day and she explains what she does with them and stuff and they're gonna start doing like um t-ball because it's springtime and the weather's gonna be better i'm sorry if the camera's really wiggly i noticed that in the last vlog too it's like not stable anymore um and she says he's done like 
so much better since she met with him at the beginning of the year because at the beginning of the year he still couldn't really catch a ball well um, like running and jumping but keeping himself contained you know <laughs> without flailing everywhere um, he does that so much better now so yeah she mentioned that not a lot of schools do that and then not a lot of schools will actually um, have like ABA therapists in the classroom which his does um, he has several people that do ABA programs with him which is what his uh, the at home ABA therapist does with him um, and like it, she also said it's very rare that anybody will sit with your kid if he's got like eating issues like Aiden does and try to get him to try new foods so she said that's awesome that they do that so like just uh, just saying those things that like not a lot of schools do this you're lucky that he's in a school like this just makes me even more not want to move away from the school that he's in the school district that he's in because it's so critical for him to have a team of people that work together and like know what works for him because there's we find certain techniques that once he once he figures it out he gets it like that and that is what he needs <laughs> like I don't want to send him to a school that's not gonna not gonna work to do that with him and everything Ugh. the entire thing is such a pain in the ass why couldn't we win the Powerball the other night I, we spent like $20 on Powerball tickets didn't win anything <laughs> I even like usually we'll just do uh, quick picks and I was like no we'll do some quick picks but I want to pick numbers too because I do like our family's birthdays and I just feel like one day maybe that will work <coughs> anyway we woke up on Thursday morning yesterday morning and we're not millionaires and I was very pissed <laughs> I don't really pay, play the lottery a lot but when it's Maybe that's the problem. I only ever feel the need to get tickets when it's way up there. It was like, what, 750 million? Maybe if I buy them all the time, <laughs> not as many people will buy it when it's only at like 2 million or something like that. I would take anything. Um, I'm still having an issue with my eyes watering. I don't know what is up. I used my blood sugar palette today because Jeffree Star Blue Blood collection launches today. I'm super excited about it. I set an alarm on my phone so I wouldn't forget. I think all I want is the palette. Not that I need another eyeshadow palette, but that one is so pretty. I was saying the other day that like I think I ended up cutting it out of the vlog because I was just babbling and that vlog was so long that you've probably noticed from if you followed me a while, I've cut way back on buying makeup stuff. I used to be so bad about it. Um, but like Colourpop and Jeffree Star are the two brands that still like get me excited for stuff because so many brands do the same thing over and over again. And like with my Pretties for Your Face stuff, I try, like I sit there and think and brainstorm. I'm like, I want to do some different stuff. And it's hard to come up with new stuff, but Love the ColourPop eyeshadow palettes, even though they do repeat a lot of colors. And I've said a bunch of times I want to go through and do like this extensive ColourPop palette video and show you all the similar colors in these palettes. But they keep putting palettes out, and it's gonna be so uh, it's gonna be so overwhelming to do that because there's so many freaking palettes now. I'm trying to think of a way to do it that's not gonna take me all day to lay them out and be like, all right, we're gonna swatch these next to each other and should just do a blog post that might be an easier way to do it I don't know but I do really like their eyeshadow palettes and they're like out of all the makeup companies they're super affordable and with the Jeffree Star stuff he just always has such cool 
but I feel like it's all wiping off my eyes because my eyes won't stop watering. I think the next time I go to the doctor, I'm going to ask about like allergies <laughs> at like getting an allergy test or something because I don't know why my sinuses and my eyes are watering and I've never had allergies in my life. Like aside from having a little reaction here and there to pollen when the pollen count is super high, I've never had allergies. My brother's always been the one with like the slightest little sniff of perfume. Well, I think I just spit. <laughs> the slightest sniff of a perfume will send him into a massive allergy attack. But not me. I've never had that. So I don't know. I'm going to shut this off now. Uh, we'll see you guys next week.